For the first time, we are learning about some of the evidence investigators have against the Highlands Ranch man accused of killing his wife by shoving her off a cliff. 7 News reporter Mark Boyle just stepping out of court. And Mark, this is in federal court because the crime happened in Rocky Mountain National Park. That's right. Within the last hour, the park ranger who found Tony and Harold Hinthorn in the park there after her fall testified. Also, an FBI agent who was investigating this. As you said, it is in federal court because it happened on federal land. Now, Tony Hinthorn's family, you can see in this video here, leaving court midday. Tony Hinthorn's brother, the first to take the stand today, saying that when he talked to Harold Hinthorn after the uh, fall, that he was told at least four different versions. Of the story by Harold Hinthorn. Now, the ranger who first questioned Harold testifying, the ranger asked about any life insurance policies they'd taken out. Harold saying there was only a $1 million policy that would turn into a trust fund for their daughter if anything happened to either of them. Now, Harold Hinthorn looking very distraught in court when they showed some of the scene photographs of his wife. Oh, even turning away the screen that the uh, images were shown on at one point. Also brought up today, the bizarre incident surrounding his first wife. This isn't the first wife he's had killed. His first wife was killed after trying to change a tire in a remote part of Douglas County. No witnesses in that one either. We'll continue to follow this story. They'll resume tomorrow at 9 o'clock. You can find a full wrap-up of day one on our website at thedenverchannel.com. Live in Denver, Mark Boyle, 7 News.